Howdy. If you're into mountaineering or climbing, you're surely familiar with the figure eight knot. If you're not, it's used to secure a rope to a safety harness. A mathematician would know it by its Alexander Briggs name, the 4-1 knot. As the overhand or trefoil was the only prime knot with three crossings, the figure eight knot is the only one with four. Let's tie in. Tying the figure eight is very similar to an overhand knot. In fact, if you screw it up, you probably will end up with one. So let's take out a bite of rope, a kind of loop like this, as if we were going to tie the overhand. We'll give the loop an extra twist first, and then wrap one end around the other. Did you get that? It's an overhand knot with an extra twist. Now we'll pull one end through and have a look at what we got. Yep, figure eight. If you can't see why it's called the figure eight at this point, I don't blame you. <laughs> Let's bring the knot into standard form by connecting the ends and dress the knot for mathematics. Do you see the figure eight now? One cool thing about this knot is that it's amphichiral. That is, there is no left or right-handed version. However you end up tying it, it's always the same. Unlike the overhand knot, of course, which is chiral. One way to think about why is that extra twist. If we took the overhand knot and removed a twist, then we'd end up with no knot at all. The extra twist has given us the figure eight. So twists in a given direction are kind of one way to think about chirality. Another way is to think about crossings. When we looked at the trefoil, we saw that crossings are related to handedness, depending upon which way the ropes were crossed. Indeed, in some sense, chirality comes from how you combine crossings together. An odd number of crossings makes it easier to have a chiral knot. When there are an even number of crossings, that might allow for the knot's chiralities to cancel out. Since there's only one knot with four crossings, the figure eight, it had to be amphichiral. But don't let that simple logic fool you. There are plenty of knots with even crossings that are chiral. Also, knots with an odd number of crossings don't have to be chiral. Although the first known case of such an amphichiral knot with odd numbers of crossings is something like 15. 15 crossings. That's crazy. <laughs>